Now, a Hymer A-Class is a beautiful thing, and the latest iteration of the B-Class, the dynamic line, is certainly beautiful indeed. In fact, it's a Hymer on a diet because it's been completely re-engineered to bring in vans that are well under the 3,500 kilogram threshold so anyone can drive this kind of van on a standard car license. So this whole thing has been completely reimagined from the ground up. Just take a look at this front end. There's a brand new radiator grill, two windscreen wipers instead of Hymer's normal three, and take a quick squiz at those headlights. This headlight is in fact multifunction. Yes, it's a daytime running light, but also an indicator. Very clever indeed, as well as weight saving. And it's that weight saving theme that you'll see all over this particular range. As I said, this new range has been completely re-engineered, and that includes from the chassis upwards. They've made certain economies, they've retained the strength, but they've taken out some weight. But obviously one of Hymer's signature features, the rather large rear garage, with a loading capacity of 350 kilograms, will still feature on a vehicle like this. Now for some motorhomes, 350 kilograms is the overall user payload. Here, it's just for the rear garage. Now, Hyman knows a thing or two about user friendliness, so it's not surprising to see one of these amazing service hatches on the side of the vehicle, offering easy access to some of the plumbing and the leisure battery. Now, this particular model is the B-Class Dynamic Line 588, which is a four berth with four travel seats. There's a pair of twin single beds at one end and another drop down double up here. Now, it's a very sociable seating group because it's relatively short at seven meters. It doesn't have the side sofa here that you would find on a longer van, but still nonetheless, very agreeable. Two people can sit in the rotated cab seats with another two here around the table, all very sociable, bringing the family together. Now, all the clever stuff I mentioned earlier about saving the weight was a long drawn out process that took Hymer many months indeed. They looked at particularly every aspect of the construction, every little component and its effect on the overall weight. For example, overhead lockers and all the cabinet work were completely reassessed. These articulated handles were completely redesigned to save weight. The fixings inside the cupboards redesigned also to save weight. And even the way the doors are hung in door frames and the connections and attachments made were completely re-evaluated. And talking of the cupboards, everything has been very well engineered. They close with a very pleasing action. Just check that out, very good indeed. And further evidence of that level of engineering can be found in the kitchen. Just look at these drawers, operating on a similar principle. Again, all redesigned and closing with a very reassuring click. The kitchen equipment in this particular van, a UK friendly oven and grill, separate of course. And next to that, an oblong sink with a very smart monoblock tap. Even somewhere to put your dishcloths and maybe your scrubbing brush. And just behind the kitchen is this rather elegant washroom. There's plenty of space inside and wooden duckboards on the floor for the shower tray. There's a shower attachment and just behind that some rails to dry clothes on. All very good. There's a pleasing vanity unit on the wall and underneath that Hymer's signature loo roll holder which allows you to post it through while keeping it discreetly out of view. Now here in the rear bedroom, you can see that comfort was a major priority alongside all the weight saving. Check out these commodious beds with cold foam mattresses, a little mirrored section in the middle, a window on either side and up above a roof light. And the ambient lighting is spot on too. There are also five overhead lockers for storage. And as well as that, there's a clever cubby down here, which is in fact a laundry basket. In addition to the large wardrobe under the offside bed, there's another one here next to the fridge, a hanging rail at the top and a couple of shelves underneath. And all that storage is in addition to hidden cubbies in the double floor. And yes, of course, this van is fully winterized. Now, safety was one of the other motivations behind this new design. And up here in the cab, you can see that in evidence. You have ESP, Hill Holder and Traction Plus. All very good to give you reassurance when you're on the road. And Hymer has added in a couple of other clever touches here in the cab too. You have a reversing camera that you can obviously look behind the vehicle, but you can switch it between two other views. So you can actually get the camera to look down the back of the vehicle, very handy when you're backing onto something, and also the waste water pipe. There's a camera on that because you can actually release it from the cab and having the visual confirmation that the tank is empty and emptying is very handy indeed. 
Chock full of innovation, the Heimer B-Class Dynamic Line is a worthy refresh of a much-loved classic. And this 588 model with its fixed twin single beds and overcab double should be very popular with discerning touring couples. Now there's lots to recommend in this van, the safety and obviously also the comfort and the weight reductions are very welcome, so I think Heimer has really succeeded. So if you have £85,000 burning a hole in your pocket for the particular specification we've looked at today, then I'm sure you will very much enjoy this kind of van on tour. For everyone else, however, we'll just have to wait for all this amazing innovation to trickle down the ranges.